it's been a well-known fact for, for a very long time that women are the primary producers, primary farmers, primary fisher folk, uh, herders in many parts of the developing world, uh, particularly across Africa and Asia. It's been the lack of the recognition of that simple reality uh, by agriculture institutions and support institutions uh, that have marginalized women from this primary role that they should be recognized for and valued for. WOCON, in collaboration with the International Alliance for Women, is organizing a two-day event that will bring together women uh, of various levels, women producers, uh, women of professional associations that are supporting women of producer associations, as well as some other professional women working in legal matters related to SEDA uh, and other women's rights. Uh, we're going to start to form a coalition of these women's groups to form a kind of a collective action to, to bring a louder voice to women, uh, to, to try to get the kind of attention to the role they play in food security uh, and to get more investments in, in what they do. There's a gender bias within agriculture and natural resource management institutions, which have been and remain to this day uh, very male-dominated uh, and therefore marginalizing women's voices in those spaces. And we need to take on these institutions themselves to try to bring about a greater sensitivity to gender uh, equality uh, needs and to create the spaces in those institutions for strong women leaders of women's organizations at all levels to be able to influence what happens in those institutions. Otherwise, without that, we have policies, even with funding, um, without changes in those institutions themselves, there cannot be the kind of significant uh, transformations that need to, to go on to enable women to step up and fulfill this tremendous opportunity uh, that they have to take leadership in uh, fulfilling the needs for food security around the world.